Is it your assessment, and you can push back on this, of course, but is this a watershed moment in this election campaign? Yes, uh, symbolically, pragmatically, I think in every sense of the word. We have so far, I mean, for the past years, I've been speaking at business forums, and what I keep emphasizing is expect the unexpected. Not even the best script writers mm. in Hollywood can come up with the narrative of events that have happened or will continue to happen towards Election Day. There are many risks on the road. I think, above all, the political leadership is needed. You know, uh, President Biden came out uh, with rhetoric of reconciliation, as did President Trump immediately afterwards. And this is not just for the political leadership in America to tone down the rhetoric, but also from ordinary citizens. There needs to be a, re a reassessment of this whole campaign election process that, um, you know, it's a process that you have to do from responsible leadership from the top, from the top down and from the bottom up. What I mean by that, it's a collective effort to try to calm down the rhetoric. The political polarization is there. It won't just take in years to develop and it's not going to disappear overnight. However, the alternative is what? Is a further into the abyss. So I think the American political leadership across the spectrum and ordinary American citizens need to reassess the situation and come to their senses to prevent this from getting even worse. Now, politically, hmm. Trump will be benefit from this. He'll have momentum going into the uh, going into the uh, the convention. And what he's trying to do is build that momentum over time. Remember, there was the the uh, the debate, Biden's terrible performance. There's also a Supreme Court decision. Now is this issue with the attempted assassination. He's going to be picking his vice presidential candidate, and he needs to continue this momentum to build what we call the momentum of inevitability of victory over time, whereby you disincentivize your opposition. On his side, for Biden, this, I think, provides a temporary reprieve for him politically. Obviously, there's been strong calls within his party for him to step down and to get someone younger to, once again, to his mental capacity, uh, physical capacity, age, bottom line. And the issue, his party is divided. There's been a brewing civil war within the Democratic Party in recent days, yeah. particularly after the, after the debate. So I think for him right now, he needs to consolidate his position from his own perspective going into the Democratic Convention at the end of August. To what extent, Marco, and, and you kind of nod to this, to what extent does this neuter some of the attack lines of Biden, of the Democrats, in terms of the threat, and they've characterized Trump as a threat to democracy, is that neutered in the short term or is that neutered long term as you lead up to November? To what extent does this handicap the Democratic Party in a sustained way leading up to November? That was one of the strongest, the quote unquote, Biden's point on, on uh, Trump being a threat to democracy. On that point, he has to now, for the, at least for the, for the foreseeable immediate future, you can see for the immediate future, he has to calm down on that. Because once again, he's even put a hold on many of his political ads that may last only a few days. And that's a reaction to the attempt at assassination. The question is, is that can he extend it in the long term? I think much of that has to depend. He's going to be more reactive. If Trump gets aggressive with his rhetoric and doesn't tone down his own rhetoric, and I think the Democrats will try to use that to adjust the volume accordingly. So I think on that attack, that specific point, Trump being a threat to democracy, that'll be conditioned upon what uh, President Trump, his rhetoric is in the coming days and weeks and months ahead, heading towards Election Day. Yeah. And, Ma and Marco, just to be clear, I mean, markets are pricing in now a Trump, a Trump victory in, in November. And you would say that is not irrational. You would say that is where things are pointing right now. If it was to be held the election at this very moment, yes. But between now and Election Day on November 5th, anything is possible. Remember, that thing is expect the unexpected. This is a day-by-day week by week. You can even call it minute by minute and hour by hour, specifically after that attempt at assassination of President Trump. So one needs this thing. It's a very things are in flux. It's a wild swinging pendulum. But if things if the momentum continues for Trump as is day by day, week by week and month by month, yes, he's in a better position. The polling is to his advantage. The national polling and what's even more important is his lead in the swing state polling. What they're trying to do is to also use this event to also create a sympathy vote for many independent voters to bring to their side, because ultimately it will be a few thousand independent voters in seven key swing states that will determine the outcome of this election.